Hello everybody, welcome to another video. We start this one off with yet another learner. Now I don't know what's going on with these learners at the moment. Obviously I'm not having a go at the learner. It's the instructor <laughs> all day long. It's got to be the instructor's fault. I don't think this is on test. It doesn't look like they're on test. I think it's the instructor. It's you tell me should this person have pulled out now now bearing in mind what I've always said if I have to slow down you should not have pulled out now that was <laughs> now that was <laughs> what is going on with these instructors so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna zoom in on this so you can see this instructor's face or it might be an examiner it doesn't inspire you with a lot of confidence, the mouth wide open looking really scared. So maybe it was an examiner because surely an instructor have got the pedals on their side and would have stopped that. And if it was on test, surely that must be a foul. You can't pull out on people on a test. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Now in this clip, we have car drivers do it. We have motorbikers do it. We have cyclists do it. So why not someone riding a horse, looking at their phone as they're riding? I was late running out of power. I was lucky because I was in uniform. And they put me because of it. Now this is another reason why you don't back out of your driveway. It can make you look like a right idiot. If I was to pause it now and put it as a thumbnail, you would think, what are you doing? Well, you still might be thinking that anyway. Stupid driving. Reverse in. Drive out. Now, we move on from there. As you can see, there's two lanes here that go straight on. After the traffic lights, they go into one lane. So it's a merging turn. Now, if you look at this the, from the front, as I'm showing you here, everybody merges in turn really well. No complaints on an awful road, potholes everywhere. But that was fine, wasn't it? Nothing wrong there at all. But when we go to the rear camera now, we we'll see something a little bit different. Now this car to my left hand side seemed to get the ump that I was undertaking, even though it's not officially undertaking. They were stopped. Now, there is no lane. Where that car is now, that's hatch markings. Camera is ahead. There isn't two lanes on this road, as I've just shown you from the front camera. So where is it going? Then it suddenly realises that it's hatch markings, I think, or knows that the road closes up. But I've got a pretty good idea where uh, concentration is, shall we say. As she pulls in behind me here, when we go to the lights at the end of the road. You only have to look at her head to realise there's something more important in her car than looking out the front window. Yes, the phone. The mobile phone is much more important than driving carefully or driving actually even in your own lane. Now in this clip, I'm in High Wycombe. Yes, I've ventured out of my normal area for a while. And there's a little area in High Wycombe where there is a ton of little mini roundabouts. There's loads of them here. And mini roundabouts or any roundabout only work properly for traffic flow if you indicate. It's simple as that. If you indicate, they work. If you don't indicate, then people are waiting for no reason. So I'm turning right here, BMW's indicating, doing a UE, Vans indicating, I'll slow it up here, the red car's indicating. Oh look, the driving instructor, again, the driving instructor isn't indicating left. But you can just about see, he is indicating right, mind you, he's indicating right and turning left. No wonder our driving is so bad in this country at the moment, if that is what's teaching people. Yeah. 
Now in this clip we're on the good old M25. We're looking at that lorry in lane 2 there. The bully boy lorry. Now look at that. Look how close he must have been to that car in front of him. And now look how close he is to the car behind him. Should never have pulled out. You should never make people brake on a motorway. So we go to the rear camera now. One of these vehicles here wants the next slip road. Can you guess which one it is? And I know most of you will be saying, well, it's got to be an Audi, isn't it? No, not necessarily. I'll let it run on a little bit, and then you can all have a guess to which one wants that slip road to the right-hand side, which is a slip road now. So the answer's coming up any second now. It's this one here. He actually wants to get into that lane over there. Now let's look and see how he does it. It's more luck than judgment. You can, you're going to run out of luck sometimes with doing this. Now unfortunately this isn't great quality video because I'm zoomed in a bit so you can see it. Again, unfortunately, we are looking at the learner again. It's doing nothing wrong at the moment. It's in lane one where it's supposed to be. If you're not overtaking anything, that is where you're supposed to be. We're on the A3 at the moment, coming back into London, just so you know. Not that that makes a lot of difference to this. Moment, as I say, it's doing nothing wrong. It's driving the way it should. It's keeping. It's doing at fair speed. It's doing about 65-ish, something like that. It is a 70 mile an hour speed limit. Now, unfortunately, again, I know I keep saying unfortunately for some reason, the blue car gets in our way a little bit here, but we're still looking at a learner in front of it. Now, look at the red car in the middle lane. Now the learner pulls out, makes the red car go out into the outside lane. Why it pulled out, I have no idea. There's nothing here. And then it decides to go back in. It didn't overtake anything, there's nothing there to overtake. But it made the red car do a manoeuvre to get out of its way. A bit odd, to say the least. Now I've speeded it up here now, and we are still on the learner unfortunately. Now if this is some sort of training exercise, let us know in the comments down below. But even if it is a training exercise, it shouldn't affect other drivers. Again, it pulls out into the middle lane. And again, it's overtaking nothing. And again, a car in the middle lane has to go out into the outside lane to get past it. Not as drastic as the first one. The first one I thought was bang out of order because it was way too close to that red car to be pulling out. For especially for no reason. So now it goes back into the inside lane after overtaking nothing. So if this was a training exercise, surely it's got to be done better than the way it was. Now, further down the road, we've still got that learner in front of us, but don't worry, I'm not having a go at that anymore. Not for the minute anyway. I was not having a go at the learner anyway. It's the way it's being taught that I'm having a go at. I'm talking about this car to my right hand side. There's a slip road coming up. Now, in the highway code, it's all to do with people coming on from the slip road. It's their responsibility to join the road safely. But it doesn't mean you may get hard for them, like this idiot. <sighs> and then decides to undertake the van. Great bit of driving, great timing. Now a little bit further down the road, I'm sorry to say again, we're on the learner. It's in the middle lane, it's lane hogging. You can clearly get over to the left hand side, but it's not doing it. But there is a second thing to look out for. In the inside lane, there is a petrol head moment for you. And unfortunately, I'm saying that unfortunately again, there was music being played, so I'm talking over the top of it for copyright reasons. But the camera didn't do it justice. When I say the camera didn't do it justice, the microphone on the camera didn't do it justice. 
it was really loud so I don't know what that is I'm sure one of you guys knows what it is so as we go to the rear camera now as we go past it I've had to turn the volume down a bit because it was uh, getting quite loud with the copyrighted music unfortunately so you couldn't hear the car which is a bit of a shame because it sounded really powerful even though it's only doing about 40 and a 50 mile an hour speed limit there so we've speeded it up here for the next petrol head moment here actually another one unfortunately oh bloody unfortunately again what am i saying it's broken down it's in the inside lane and it's broken down and they're pushing it now when we move out and we go past it there is a really nice guy whether he's with them or not i do not know there's a guy behind them with his hazards on and he is warning everyone that there's broken down car in front and they're pushing it out of the way what a really nice thing to do especially if he might not even be with them again me not being a petrol head i don't know what that is i'm sure some of you guys do not a good place to break down on the a3 there's never been any hard shoulders on it not this end anyway Now, a little bit further down the road we come to this whoever thought it would be a good idea to put a seven foot barrier right on a roundabout exit needs a good slap in the face i think how ridiculous what a stupid place to put it now i'm going to show you this road first of all before i show you what really happens behind me which is where it's all happening as you can see it's quite a tight road it's 20 mile an hour speed limit it's got speed bumps down it and there's a lot of parked cars so it is quite tight to get two cars down there anyway and i have a really good sensible driver behind me only joking i've got a guy that needs a slap in the face with a packet of wet shit behind me he's not directly behind me he's behind the car behind me and you'll get to see him in a little while because he wants to go faster than 20 miles an hour he doesn't want to be behind the car behind me he doesn't want to be behind me but the road runs out before he has a chance to get past me on this road anyway so as you can see it's 20 still it always is 20 all the way down this road and you can see the speed bumps they're quite big so you're not going to hit them hard you're not going to hit them fast if you care about your car anyway now for those of you who don't know this is called lower Morden lane this is normally on the news every christmas time because they all the houses down here go a big bundle on the decorations and they go the, the lights are everywhere they charge people to come down the road sometimes there's people there they don't charge you but it's it's donations you got the buckets out everywhere and everything so we're going behind us now we are not looking at this car that's turning right we're not looking at the red one neither we're looking at the white car he is the numpty now there you go he's trying to get past he's having a good look now I did see him in my mirror and I thought well maybe he just wants to do the speed bumps in the center of the road rather than the ones to the left hand side some people do that but he doesn't want to do that he's always looking to try and overtake and it's never nice seeing people like that in your mirror all the time trying to overtake you you normally get it with motorbikes that drive me bloody mad when they're on the corner of your car trying to overtake you all the time so you can feel this guy's frustration of trying to get past this red car it has another little look again and bearing in mind the red car was quite close to me there is it going to get into that gap between me and the red car now this bucket of shit has put so much pressure on this red car the red car actually pulls over and lets him go past him better off having a twat like that in front of you rather than behind you you are one fucking idiot mate you are one fucking great big idiot go on mate you've got your outside lane there go on go zooming up to the speed camera like a fucking twat 
You've got your outside lane there, go on. Go zooming up to the speed camera like a fucking twat. And obviously that's exactly what he does. Hits the brakes now because there's the speed camera and there's a queue of traffic up there. See it? That's where we're all turning right. Including him. Including Mr. Shithead there in front of us. But he's special, remember? Yeah. He's going to try and cut in. You did as well. Look at that, you cheeky bastard. Now in this clip, I've had to pause it because it happened really, really quickly. As you can see, all the lights are red, including he's. But then they're special as well, aren't they? They don't stop for red lights, not cyclists. They don't stop for them. And what about this one? Remember them adverts, think bike? Well, you have to because they don't fucking think, do they? Anyway guys, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.